Hey guys, um, I'm back and uh, very very excited because I'm about to get uh, dive right back into my all my doll stuff uh, and other art projects too. But um, so this uh, convention I just went to has given me lots of uh, extra spending money, so I was able to buy lots of supplies and. Um, it's all for uh, the doll head in question, my ring doll voice, whose name is Dee, and um, he's gorgeous. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I, don't, I can't get mesmerized by him right now. I gotta talk. So um, I am about to start a uh, wig dyeing experiment, and we'll see how, uh, how it comes out. I'm going to dye some little samples of hair from various different Monique gold colors. Alright, uh, wig dyeing experiment. Here's my uh, color choice. It's got colors all over. It, it was like that in the store. But anyway, okay, this is a blue ink from the FW brand. So I'm sorry it looks a mess, but all the ink bottles looked like this. So, oh well, she's got yellow paint all over. It's like, I don't know what happened there. So anyway, this is called Rowney Blue. It, they had several different blue choices, and it was it's very tough to choose and and figure out which which color I need. You know, it's hard to guess what it's going to look like. I think this is a good color. Uh, I don't want to make a mess, but um, uh, yeah, I just need a good uh, blue, 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 with, without much um presence of other colors in it, like some of them might be a bit blue-green, and I don't want blue-green, I want blue-blue. <laughs> I want to come out looking midnighty, midnight blue or something like that. So, so then I went to the dollar store, and I got a spray bottle, a funnel for cars. This one was better than the funnel that they had in the cooking section, because it, it had a narrower nozzle, and it's just narrower, and it just looks nicer. So. I got a color funnel. I guess that's for filling up the spray bottle with your solutions. I got some gloves, which I always use, you know. I use them for face up, and I'm going to use them for this wig dyeing thing, because it's a messy job. And I got uh, masking tape, which uh, the person doing the wig dyeing uh, blog suggested. I'm not really sure what I'm going to use that for. And then I got some combs. <laughs> and then I was really excited to find this hair cutting scissors. And I kept saying I want hair cutting scissors, but I was expecting to spend a lot more than a dollar. But there they are at the dollar store hair cutting scissors. And they should be good enough for wigs, for doll wigs, I hope. I'm not, I'm not looking to become a professional hairdresser, so I think this should do it. Uh, and that's all. I think, you know, that's all. I just, I'm just using one, one color because I just want the doll's hair to be blue. And I want it to mingle with the brown that's already going to be in the wig. That, that the wig is already colored, so. Uh, so, uh, let's get into it. I'm going to set up my stuff and get my doll hair wet. And, uh, we'll walk through this process of just dyeing samples and then um, depending on how the samples come out we will dye the actual wig which I have not ordered yet because I'm trying to figure out what base color I want so I'll see you then. Okay now we're about to get started with our experiment here I have a swatch from every Monique wig I've ever bought this one is honey ash blonde it belongs to lamb rain this one is brown black, it belongs to Abbott. This is white blonde, it belongs to Signet. This is golden auburn and golden strawberry. It's a streaky kind. This one belongs to Rivo. And I think this one is called auburn. Um, just plain auburn, I think, and I hope. And I got that one from the um, Outlander doll project that I did last year. Okay, now what uh, we have all of our supplies laid out, paper towel, rubbing alcohol, Mine is 50%. We got a measuring cup and a funnel. We got our gloves, spray bottle. We got our ink. We have a towel. Now I'm going to um, spray all of these with a solution that is um, 
uh, one cup of alcohol in the bottle and eight um, eyedroppers of ink. And uh, we're just going to use uh, just the blue ink. And mine is called, once again, it's called Rowney Blue. Rowney? I don't even know what that means, but okay. And um, okay, we're going to get started. By the way, uh, I learned this technique from Resin Muse's blog. I am now going to attempt to neatly set up the spray bottle with my solutions. I guess I have high hopes about the color by looking at it now out of the bottle. <laughs> Let's hope it looks better on the hair. All right, here we go. Now we're going to spray some hair. This is a messy, messy job. And I am going to have to upgrade my spray bottle to something a little better. <laughs> something smaller, something gentler. You can always swish it around in the uh, color <laughs> if you need. Here you go, Signet's hair. Let's see how bright, bright and shiny it turns out. Wow, people, what a mess. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good thing I have a sunroom and a old table that doesn't matter if it gets messy. You might want to do this outside somewhere on the sidewalk or in the driveway or in the grass or something because you, I mean, it splatters all over the place. So please keep that in mind. I'm now going to go rinse my hair with. Uh, they all tend, well, no, I think they're going to turn out different. They all kind of started, they were looking the same. I think Signets is definitely going to be the lightest. And then, yeah, we are going to have the dark variations in these darker colors. So I'm going to rinse and let them dry, and then I'll get back to you with the results. Well, folks, they've all been rinsed now. And you can kind of see how they're about to turn out. Uh, white Blonde is looking a little bit My Little Pony-ish. <laughs> And um, the rest, it's hard to say. This brown-black one looks like it's turning into black. Uh, but you can't, well, we can't really judge it until they're completely combed out and, and made nice. Uh, the next step after this actually should probably be uh, to use hair conditioner on them. And I didn't do that because... I'm just going to save that for the real wig. <laughs> These are just little scraps. I just want to see what their color looks like. But what we would do next is use hair conditioner. And um, uh, right now, I'm not too terribly impressed. I, I really have to see them dry. But um, if basically, if I don't like what I've come up with, then I will see about making that alpaca wig. <laughs> so... Uh, that'll, that'll mean I'll have to go get some alpaca hair and <laughs> see if I can dye it and and whatever. And by the way, if anyone out there watching, uh, if you dye alpaca wig, if you've ever, uh, or alpaca hair, if you've ever done that, then um, please let me know what is the best type of color to use. Should I use this ink or should I get... Uh, you know, uh, hair dye for people, or I can use fabric dye. You know, sometimes fabric is made from animal hair, so um, I think fabric dye might be one one thing I can use. So we'll just have to find out. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry, and I'll get back to you. See you then. And the final verdict is... 
<laughs> okay, this one turned out looking kind of green. Um, these colors are subjective. You know, you might like it, you might hate it. Honey Ash Blonde turned out looking very green, which uh, isn't right for my character. Brown Black came out looking black. I mean, which, you know, if you like that color, it's kind of like a, kind of like a, it's hard to see on the camera, a bluish, grayish black. Uh, it might be good for some dolls if you, if you want that sort of black kind of color. But it's not right for my doll. And, um... And this one just turned out looking totally cartoony, so if you want a color like that, you know, you can you can get it using this ink with uh, white blonde. It's very, very pretty. I gotta say, it is pretty, but it, it's, it's not right for the character. It's too bright and, like I said, cartoony. <laughs> and this one also turned out looking kind of green. This was Rivo's uh, streaked hair. It just looks, it was red, it was golden aub auburn with golden strawberry. And um, it's kind of cool because the streaks also got dyed like uh, a lighter color. So the streaks are like still there and they, they turned out bluer than the darker color. But it's not right, it's just not blue enough. And then this one just turned into a mellow brown. <laughs> and it used to be auburn, as you can see up here, it's kind of reddish. Then down here, it just turned out kind of brown, so... Uh, so, yeah, none of these colors are right for me. So I'm going to go back to the drawing board and see what I can do with some alpaca hair. And um, I'll try this uh, ink again on the alpaca hair. Um, but I, I might want to get some different kinds of dye. And I'm not sure what color alpaca hair I should buy. So this creates a lot of stress because alpaca hair is expensive. And I was hoping to just get a Monique wig and just and just dye it, you know, and it, it would be like easy and quick and just to just buy an already made wig for 30 bucks and dye it. <laughs> but it's not gonna be that easy. Now I gotta learn how to make a wig. Ah! So all my um, friends out there in YouTube land who know who have done this before and have made some wigs, feel free to pipe up and I'll probably be asking you some questions. So yeah, I'll appreciate everyone's help. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. This this might this is gonna take some money. <laughs> that's that's the part that stresses me out, uh, cause it's like a it's an investment, <laughs> and when you make a big money investment, you really want it to turn out right in the end. You don't want to have a lot of uh, failures. That can get old. This one is kind of cool, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, it's it's not exactly the tone I was looking for. Otherwise, I say that this one is probably the most successful. Like I said, this one just looks black. These just look like a greenish brown. That one is successful if you like that color. Otherwise, if you want a darker color, this one is pretty cool, but it's too green. I can't use that. It, it has to be blue. It has. To, I really wanted it to look like this. Um. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now and put this video together so you guys can see it. <laughs> so, um, all right, I'll, um, I'll stay in touch with my, my wig adventures and um, talk to you later. I want to know who stole my sandwich.